Well, hello again. It's me, uh, the fellow with the allergies, making another video today. Okie doke. So, this is kind of a slow start, but what I'm up to is I think this is the right thing to do to try to get the ball rolling. And uh, we're going to have a video a day, and it'll be nice and short and sweet. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to show how to make a quick page, nice and big page here to work on, out of 11 by 17 sheets of paper. And we're going to accumulate a bunch of these, but uh, the reason I'm kind of cruising along, and moving, I guess, a little bit quickly, is these are place keepers in the sense of establishing a territory. Uh, I have so much material now uh, and such a simple paradigm to work with that basically I need to kind of establish this as quickly as possible. So let's say this is a page. We'll be doing a bunch of these. Okay. That's a nice. Uh, here, let's do this real quick. Uh, all right, page. Now, what I'm doing is I'm very interested. Well, let's see. The first thing I'm doing is I'm creating a phone app for QR codes, okay? As we know them, the present day QR code is made of quick response matrix codes, 3D matrix codes more or less, uh, that uh, kind of look a little bit like this. And everybody has seen these all over the place, right? Okay. I am making a series of coloring pages based on or using QR codes. Okay? And we'll get this figured out. This is not proportional to 11 by 17 as we define the process. This is like one of the first pieces of work in the series. Um, I'm calling these planetoid, and the planetoids are actually rather cool, so planetoids, what I'm doing with these planetoids, they have a story uh, that involves the first, second, and third, the fourth, the, the planetoids, when we visit them, are in the fourth information age. So I'll explain the information ages another time. But we have some characters, right? This is very dry. Um, but what happens is I'm using these planetoids as part, points of departure for the 3D printing thing. Now I'm going to sketch all of this. These can go simultaneously to background material, material on the web, for instance. They can deliver and find content. They can actually create new URLs in the right kind of environment to deposit information so you can color a page maybe and then add it to a vocabulary. But the most interesting thing is that the library science of the future is going to be 3D as well as 2D for what amounts to, well, like I was saying yesterday with uh, 3dprinting.com or 3dprintingland.com. God, I've got an analogy problem. Uh, there's a thing going on with these pages, going to a story, etc. And uh, so we can put here at the bottom, 3D printing, and, oops, I hope you can 
see that? Digital files. Okay. Now, here we have one of our characters, which is a robo car, robo space car kind of thing. Which you've seen in the comic, if you can pay any attention to my comic, the obscure comic as you see this car anyway. So what fits into this area of the car is your uh, robo valet, I suppose. And uh, the robo valet kind of is kind of the chauffeur, but as they move to the planetoids, the Robo Valley uh, kind of died a couple of things. Anyway, uh, do some symbolism. Ah, sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. Okay, so we have characters, and I'll do the character for two of them. Or a guy and a girl, right? And, uh, uh, their phones. <laughs> they have smartphones. And that kind of fits into what the smartphone story thing is all about, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to mess with shadows with this. I'm just going to basically, uh, I'm going to do that. All of this will be refined later. We want the impression that this is kind of coming around like this. But beneath it, and this is what I'm going to be doing with some of these coloring papers, is the indication of what you see in the files that they do use for actual coloring papers. Okay. So we're going to do a bunch of these panels, a bunch of these pages. But here, I guess, you're kind of seeing one of the directions. We could call this a cover, maybe. Simple, simple. Okay, so one of the things that's fun about this is the idea of potential NFTs, which is supposed to be kind of humorous. Potential NFT. It's one step beyond NFTs. NFTs are already a little bit ludicrous, but, you know, Clement Greenberg would love the idea of potential NFTs, right? Potential NFTs. And destinations. Destinations is kind of a big deal. But destinations in 3D printing land. I'm not going to scribble all over this. But I like the idea of technical documents. And part of this, I believe, when I'm talking library science, is we're going to see a vast especially with 3D printing, complementing AR, VR, uh, technical illustrations, a variety of things. Uh, it's going to become a very interesting landscape. And so what am I doing? You're going, Dave's crazy. Well, no, Dave is actually, this is part of a crowdfunding campaign. And a couple other things that I'm working on. But I'm going to basically, let's say that somebody might be interested in buying this piece of art, right? That might actually happen. I'm going to set it up so that basically the things I do in these videos it will also be kind of like perks, maybe. Now the next thing is, does this actually show up in the whole 
frame. Let's take a look at that real quick. Anyway, the gist of it is, oh, not quite. And that's, that's kind of what the test is about. So our pages need to add a, something that kind of fits into, into a space like that. Okay, and where are we at in terms of time? These need to be, oh, we went over. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'm going to cut it short.